every Manchester United fan is waiting on updates about Manchester United's moves for Fabinho and Alvaro Morata. And we've got some updates for you, and it's generally it's pretty good news. Now, French journalist Mohamed Bouhafsi, he works for RMC TV in France. He's saying that Man United are still in discussions for Fabinho and that he remains a priority of Jose Mourinho. After all the Nemanja Matic stories happened this week, everybody is suggesting that Mourinho pursuing Matic means that we are now not going to move for Fabinho. But that is not the case. And I said it straight away that Man United, there is every chance that we can sign both of them. And I hope that is still going to be the case. But who is Mohamed Bahafsi? In the transfer world, you have to know what sources to trust and who is considered reliable. Now, Mohamed Bahafsi, just like Gianluca Di Marzio, when it comes to Italian transfers, Bahafsi is the bollocks. When it comes to French players, he gets it right. Back in the times when Manchester United signed Anthony Martial, it was Bahafsi who broke the story first. This summer, he was been on point the whole way through with the Bernardo Silva story. And he followed the Paul Pogba story the whole way through correctly as well. So we have no reason not to consider him a reliable source. And that is why we bring you updates from him and we always question where there's other sources and tell you who is reliable. So I hope this sort of gives you a bit of insight into who to trust and who not to trust. But Man United is still in discussions for Fabinho. As far as the price for Fabinho goes, we're looking in the region of 40 to 45 million euros, which is absolutely nothing when you consider that we might be paying 40 million pounds for 28, 29 year old Nemanja Matic. What's been the delay about this transfer? Not too sure, but when you think that we've got Alvaro Morata going on, that's complicated got some updates on him too next and we've also got Nemanja Matic we've obviously got Lindelof over the line and the Ivan Perisic transfer is really dragging out as well you can understand that Man United are sort of crawling through the mud at the moment because the transfer window is not even opened I expect there to be a lot of movement this week I really think that we could have one or two more confirmed signings by the end of this week potentially Matic and potentially Morata I hope those two get pushed over the line, and Fabinho too. But as I said, as soon as the Matic stories came out, there is no reason that we cannot sign Matic and Fabinho. And as Bahafsi says, not only are we still in discussions for Fabinho, he remains a priority for Mourinho. And that should be cracking news for everybody. But what about Alvaro Morata? Well, Morata has now got married. Congratulations, Alvaro. He got married to his partner, Alice Campello, out in Italy, I think it was. They've been on their honeymoon. Not sure whether they still may be on their honeymoon, but that was always going to be a minor delay in any negotiations for Morata. He wanted to get his marriage out of the way, get his honeymoon out of the way, and as soon as that is over, then he's got all focus on determining his future. But reports from Spain in a more positive note, suggests that things are really moving in the right direction. Now, Marco Ruiz, he works for AS, the Spanish newspaper, who sometimes can be right, sometimes can be wrong. But this is what Ruiz has to say. It says that Real Madrid are definitely holding out for more than the 70 million euros that Man United have currently offered Real Madrid. They want more towards the 80 to 90 million euros mark. Yes, it's a lot of money for a third choice striker, but what they point towards is the fact that he's only 24, He's already a regular starter for Spain. He's got so much of his career ahead of himself that you're paying for that as well. And there's not many top draw centre forwards available in the current market. So that adds a premium onto him. Now, Man United are clearly with Ed Woodward in charge. We're negotiating hard. And it's brilliant, fucking fantastic, in fact, to see the shoe on the other foot. Real Madrid squirming and trying to squeeze more money out of a player that we want and that they don't want to let go. But it really does feel like a case of, it feels a case of when and not if. And I hope I don't curse it by saying that. But Morata wants to move. He wants regular first team football. He can work again under Jose Mourinho at a top club in the Champions League, being their first choice striker. He's never going to get that at Real Madrid. He's now got married. He's 24. He's coming in towards the mature years. Not really, I suppose, he's got years before he gets towards his peak at 27, 28. But he's ready to be the main man for a top club. And he knows he can get that at Man United. It's just that Real Madrid are holding out for a little bit more money because they're chasing the likes of Kylian and Bappe this summer. I think the fee will probably be in the region of 75 million, somewhere in the middle of the two negotiation fees. But Man United are certainly pushing hard for Morata. And you absolutely know it is city season when Morata's wife follows Man United on Instagram, as you can see here, and everybody goes, do lally. It means it's done, done deal. No, it doesn't, but 
we're in that we're at that stage now, aren't we? Where things like this can really get us excited. But why wouldn't we be getting excited about Morata? Last year, Man United created more chances in the Premier League than Chelsea. They won it. Our conversion rate was 12 <laughs> percent. If we can get someone like Morata in who can score 20, 30 goals even, that would be amazing. And we get a nice defensive midfielder in to free Paul Pogba up. That's two major problems in this squad fixed for next season. And we're going to be in such a stronger position. Not to mention we've got Lindelof at centre-back, maybe Fabinho coming in too as cover for right-back as and as that defensive midfielder. And Perisic maybe as a left winger. Man United looking good. Systematic signings from Jose Mourinho in key areas we need to strengthen. For years under Van Howe and Moyes, we were just... I don't know what the policy was in the summer transfer window. It was a scattergun approach. Let's try and sign a name. I don't know if we need him, but fuck it, let's try and sign him. Mourinho is being systematic and calculated. He got his four signings he wanted last year. He's already got Lindelof this year. We're pushing and closing in on Morata. The same goes for Fabinho and Matic. Good times ahead next season for United. That is the update ahead of what should really be a major week of movement for Man United. We've had a lot of I'm in an ah ring and speculation here and speculation there in terms of Manchester United and transfers, but the transfer window opens officially on Saturday. Morata's now been married, Fabinho, the transfer negotiations are going on, and Matic looks like it's developing very quickly with Chelsea signing Timu Bakayoko as his replacement. Could we, by the end of this week, have three more confirmed signings? Fingers crossed, but I really am hoping we've got at least one, and I really think we will. Who would it be? Who do you want to see come over the line first? Which of these signings are you more excited about? Morata, Fabinho or Matic? Let me know in the comments below. But that is it for a transfer update on Morata and Fabinho. Hope it helped you understand what's going on a little bit more. As always, ladies and gents, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.